These are my absolute favorite pore minimizing primers. I'm going to take this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm going to put it right in my T-zone. This is my little combination that I do. I'll put the Smashbox in my T-zone and the Benefit Professional everywhere else. To keep you matte all day long, you're going to want to buy the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and the Matte and Poreless from Maybelline. Together, it's a dream. Seriously. The Maybelline is a little bit too sheer for my liking. I like a little bit more coverage. And the Pro Matte, when it starts getting hot during the day, I'm in North Carolina, so it's starting to get hot already. So that's a little bit too thick for me. Mixing these together, they stay all day long and I do not have to blot or anything. To make my makeup really really stay I go in with this IT Cosmetics foundation brush. I find that if I use a brush my makeup stays on a little bit longer than the Beauty Blender. So since this is to make sure you're matte and not cakey all day if you'll notice, I didn't put any foundation right in the triangle under my eye where my concealer goes. I leave that completely out so it's not too much product packing up, especially on my pores. I want to stay away from anything emphasizing my pores because they are huge. To make sure there's no extra product, there's no cakiness throughout the day, I'm just going to go over with my damp beauty blender just to soak in any extra product that I don't need that's going to cake up on my face throughout the day. My under eyes are a little bit dry, but to have the perfect concealer for me, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me in, I take light and fair, I'm almost out of fair, so I just use light in replacement of it until I get a new one, but I'm just going to put this right in the triangles below my eyes, my nose, my chin, and my forehead like normal. And I'm just gonna tap it out with the Beauty Blender. Again, if you'll notice, I didn't put anything straight over my pores. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and blend a little bit of concealer over. I didn't pack everything right over my pores. This is how I keep matte and not cakey around my pores. I don't want to emphasize it when I'm telling you they're huge. They're huge. So I'm just going to take con some concealer and just kind of blend it over there instead of just packing product right on top. This product right here, this Airspun Translucent Powder, this is key for matte skin all day. Seriously, I just take my beauty blender, I'm not gonna bake with it, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and kind of bounce it into the skin until it is melted all the way in. The longer I leave powder, the drier my under eyes look, so I'm just gonna go in and pat this in until it's all melted in. To set the face, I'm just going to take this Wet n Wild Cover All powder. It doesn't get cakey. After my powders are down, my basic powders, I just go over with my primer water to make it back to, like, make your skin back to life. Then I'm going to take this ColourPop Bronzer in Topaz. This bronzer is beautiful. I wish the highlight wasn't so dark on me, but it's pretty as an eyeshadow anyways. So I'm gonna take that Topaz bronzer. I forget what the bronzer name is. I'm just gonna take it with this Hoola bronzer brush. To contour, I'm gonna take my Shade and Light by Kat Von D. I'm gonna take that middle shade, and we're gonna take this Bdellium Tools. I think that's what it is. This is so nice for contouring. If you 
put your contour shadow just on the edge of it and kind of go in the hollows of your cheeks. It is amazing. After my contour is down, I'm just going to go back in with that brush and blend everything together. Then I'm going to go back in with my airspun powder and my beauty blender and just carve out my contour. The more blend in, the more brushes, it can get a little bit muddy, it can get dragged down. So just take some powder and kind of clean it up a little bit with your beauty blender and you'll be fine. I'm going to go in with this NYX Liquid Illuminator in Gleam. I'm going to put it on my damp beauty blender and just set everything into the skin, make it melt into the skin instead of sitting right on top of it. I've been liking to layer the liquid illuminators and then put my powders on top. So I'm going to take my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero glow kit i'm going to take 143 and right back in with the beauty blender i'm just going to set it on top so everything melts into the skin to set everything i always have my urban decay all nighter spray for a lip shade that's going to last all day long i'm going to take my nyx lip lingerie in push-up it's a beautiful nude and it stays i'm serious it stays all day long i love it so much so these are my little tips and tricks to stay matte and not cakey all day with a full coverage foundation. I know we have the glow going on with our highlighter, but that's about the only glow that I want to deal with during the day. Definitely don't want to blot or get oily during the day. So I hope this helps someone out. If you like this video, just thumbs up, subscribe. I have videos up at least three times a week.